welcome to this week's episode of Five Minutes with Pastor Ephium. It's a joy as always to be with you once again. Today we want to talk about the God of all comfort. We want to talk about this great God that we serve, the one who ministers comfort to all who put their trust in him. And we want to do it based on the word of God in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning round about verse 3. Apostle Paul is writing to the Corinthian church and he says to them, Blessed be the God of all comfort, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he says in paraphrase that it is God that comforts us in the midst of all of our trials and tribulations and that God gives us this comfort so that we might be able to comfort, or comfort others who might be going through similar difficulties as we are. And that's what I want to share with us today, a word of encouragement to any one of us who is going through grief, who is going through difficulty, who is going through suffering of any kind. Today, the Word of God comes to minister comfort, the comfort that we serve a God who is ever present with us, a God who loves us and a God who is purposeful and intentional in bringing comfort into our lives. You see, my brothers and sisters, there is, a re there, there, there is a reality to grief and suffering in life. You see, all of us go through grief, all of us go through suffering because God permits it in the lives of those even who trust Him. But that's not the uh, end of the story. The truth of the matter is that even as God permits grief and suffering in our life, that God also provides grace. He provides more than enough grace to cover the things that we bear. So the reality of our suffering is this. Yes, we do suffer, but in the midst of that suffering that we do have grace. Because there is a God of all comfort, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who ministers comfort to us in those difficult times of life. Sometimes it is when we have lost a loved one, Sometimes it's when we've lost a job. Sometimes it's when we've lost our health, or perhaps even when we've lost our financial security. All of these things have a tendency to bring grief and suffering to our lives. But thanks be to God, the God of all comfort, who is ever present in our lives to minister comfort unto us. So first of all, we see that there is a reality um, to suffering in life. And it is, there are two sides to that reality, the reality of our grief and then the reality of our grace. All too often we only tell one side of that story. People hear about all the grief and all the suffering and all the bad things that have happened in our lives, but it's not too often that we remember to tell them about the grace of God that has sustained us and has kept us from dangers both seen and unseen. Now the Bible goes further to tell us not only about the reality of our grief and suffering, but also it tells us um, about the reason for our grief and suffering. Apostle Paul tells the church at Corinth, he tells them that God um, had ministered grace to him even in the time of his own great personal suffering. God had been his comforter and he said God had comforted him so that he would be able to comfort others. And my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that, that there is nothing that comes to your life that God has not first permitted. Sometimes these things are difficult and they're troublesome, but God permits them in our lives that we may grow stronger. And I want you to know that in the midst of that strength that we gain, he allows us to go forward and to touch others' lives so that we would be able to comfort others, even as we have, he, we have been comforted by Him. If it's a loved one that you have lost, then certainly you can encourage somebody who loses a loved one. If it is a job that you have lost and you have experienced the grace of God, then you can comfort someone who is going through the same thing. Thirdly, I want to talk about our response in suffering and grief. And that is really quite simple that we should share the whole story. Tell the whole story of what God has done in your life. Yes, it is true that you've been through some hard times, 
but it is also true that God has been faithful to you. He has been faithful in my life through thick and thin, in difficult times and in good times. And I want today to tell the story to the whole world that I'm standing today not because I haven't suffered, but because I have received grace. May God give you the grace to do the same thing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the revelation of your truth, that the things that we suffer are not purposeless, but that you have allowed them intentionally into our lives that we may gain strength. Father God, may you give us the grace to share our experiences of your grace with others, that they too may be strengthened and they too may be saved. My brothers and sisters, we pray this in Jesus' name. If you would like to connect with us, you may do so at ucfarlington.org. Otherwise, you can do even better and visit us in person, 5015 New York Avenue, Arlington, Texas, 76018. We would love to see you there. God bless you.